Welcome to the Nice Minus Rookie, and today I'm bringing the episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. In the last episode, we took on the Pokeball Factory. We kicked all those Team Magmas, Grunts, Asses, as well as the Admins and well the other two that we battled. And then we went ahead and went east to Route 15. And uh, well, as you saw in the beginning of this episode, well, we also got a new Pokemon in today's episode, which is our Z is Drifloon, which is Drifloon. And his name's Zeppelin. Um, yeah, I, that's the only thing that popped to my mind when I heard of uh, the Drifloon. Anyway, in today's episode, we're gonna take on the rest of Route 15. We're gonna go ahead and go to the Lost Hotel as well. And well, unfortunately, um, I was trying to do a smart edit right there and go to the uh, place where I stopped recording last episode because I did go I did go back and catch Drifloon. However, instead of doing a smart edit, we encounter this trainer over here. Anyways, always thank you so much for watching, and it really means a lot to me. And be sure to show that like button some love. That's just lonely. And if you show it some love, it'll certainly show you some love back. Anyway, let's jump into this battle, I guess. So yeah, I was actually thinking about getting myself a Pidgeot, um, or a Pidgeot, or whatever you want to call it, a Pidgey, that thing right there, the thing that you can find in, uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, but then I, then I was like, hey, I've never, when we saw that Drift Bloom, I was like, hey, I've never ever actually used a Drift Bloom, haven't used it on Wi-Fi Battle Teams, I have not even used it in any game I've played, I don't, I don't, don't think so, uh, so I was like, why not, why not, why not use a Drift Bloom, and this thing is such a unique moveset, Drifloon Killer and Thunderbolt. Like what? So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this thing just because I've never used it, and I, I feel like it would be an, er an interesting Pokemon to use, um, as I've never used it, and it has such a unique move pool that it's like, why, why pass up this opportunity to use a Drifloon? And uh, well, I needed somebody that can learn fly. So right over here is the Lost Hotel. You don't have to take on the Lost Hotel. You can either go on over there, which is well, that leads to the next city. Or, well, you can go over here, which is Route 16, use strength on this boulder, and, well, there's another area over here to the Lost Hotel. The Lost Hotel is pretty big, actually. Um, I don't really get why it's split into sections like this, but, yeah. Um, uh, I'm gonna go over here, because there is a whole bunch of trainers battle over here as well. Like, this is actually a very, very big area. Yeah, so this is quite a big area. Drift and gas, spin! Then, boom, right into battle! So yeah, if you do complete this route 100%, it's actually a very, very big route. There's a lot of stuff to do here, a lot of items to acquire as well, and well, it, it's it's worth worth it. It's definitely worth it. Um, I'm not gonna take you on because I don't really have a. Actually, I have Aerodactyl I could use for you, but I don't really want to do that because Aerodactyl isn't really on my team. Don't you underestimate us? We're about as strong as Asian is, you know. Hmm. 
Man oh man, Moonblast is just such an awesome move. So over here is another area you can go to. It's a, like I said, this is a very, very big route. We'll go there in just a few minutes here. I just want to go over here, and that's nothing over there, nothing really important. I bet you it's over here, yeah, it's in this little... Right, there's a big mushroom, because if you want the mushrooms, you gotta look for them in these little piles of leaves. Uh, there's a pile of leaves over here. Oh, it's a trainer, what? Yes, that's right, I'm the red Pokemon range. Buddy, I'm pretty sure all your buddies that are rangers have the red suit on, so I think everyone's a red ranger. Unless this is a like a, a Easter egg or a hint towards the red, the the Power Rangers, I'm pretty sure it. I don't think that is. I've never really like picked up on any like references to other po to other games or other TV shows in Pokemon games. I don't really think that's something that Nintendo or po not Nintendo Pokemon does. I know Nintendo does that with these Zelda games. There's people in the grass. What? Let us begin our battle. Through it, I will learn all there is to know about you. Mwahaha. Well, you are dead. Um, I don't think- is there any more trainers in this grass? I don't- it doesn't look like we've already battled you. There's, there's nothing else in this grass. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go back to where this crazy old lady was. There's nothing in that grass either. And, well, I guess that was just like a little loop back to where we came from. Um, over here... This is where we came from, right? Am I right? Yes, this is definitely where we came- no, it's not, because there's this guy over here. I'm thinking you got the skills to take me on. I sure do think I got the skills to take you on. Actually, I know I got the skills to take you on, buddy. Alright, so this is probably a new area, then, if I have not battled a train over there. And we need to cut. Um... Can anyone I have on my team learn right now learn cut? I don't think Aerodactyl can learn cut to be honest. I know Drifloon can, but I don't really want to teach Drift. Ah, sweet. Oh, not not Aerodactyl. Gabite. Okay, there we go. Sweet. So Gabite can learn cut. That's awesome because well, I'm pretty sure. Well, if there's a tree to cut. There's definitely something important there. I'm gonna delete takedown actually. I know I'm teaching a really really powerful Dragon type Pokemon some shitty ass HMs, but you know what? Well, I just I have to. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Um, I mean I don't have to, but. Well, I have to in order to show you guys these awesome things you can obtain over here. Because I actually don't know what you can obtain over here. Um, oh, it's, it's it's for this right here. It's a rare candy. So that is actually very a very, very important item. Um, there is a hidden item around here, but I don't... The machine won't show me where it is. Is it down here? Oh no, it, it's probably upstairs and okay, it's, it's probably up here. Yeah, right there is a max revive. Also, with the Lost Hotel, you to finish the completely complete the Lost Hotel, you're gonna have to go and do a few things in Lumio City. I forgot to mention that. I'll get into that later once we actually do take, take on the Lost Hotel. But for now, we're gonna go explore the rest of this route over here. We've already... I believe we've already taken you on. Yeah, we have. And then we've already taken this other guy over here on. So we can go on back ahead over here. And we've already checked that patch of grass over here. Anything important over here? No, there's not. There's this, this chain over there, which we cannot battle just yet. Because I'm not going to use Drifloon right now. I'm going to use Drifloon once he levels evolves into a Drifloon. Because then I know he can for sure take on these Pokemon. Over here is a double battle. I'm, I think I'm good for this double battle over here. Allow me to honor you and your Pokemon with a battle. At the rate of this, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get uh, a Tyranitar into this episode, which I'm really, really excited for. It's been so long. Like, I know we've waited so long for this thing. We've waited two years to get this Tyranitar. 
Um, any- Oh, there's this tree over here which we can go use cut on, and I believe that's gonna lead us to another hidden item or something good. I'm not too sure what it's gonna lead us to- Oh! You're gonna use waterfall over there, so we're gonna ignore that for right now, but over here, there are a few trainers to battle. Um, this is actually a little- this- this spot over here is really cool, actually. Guess what? Guess what? My mommy made me- made this dress for me! Okay, yeah, that was my dumbass forgetting that Mawal is part steel type, so uh, do forgive me about that. Over here is a hidden item, uh, which is... I guess it's not a hidden item. Over here is a uh, fist plate, which is quite awesome, I guess, that powers up uh, fighting type moves, or if you have Arceus, well, it makes or turns Arceus into a fighting type Arceus. Um, so that's right, there's another rare candy for us in our bag. Uh, don't think there's anything else. We've already went up there, so let's go explore this little town over here. It's actually a very interesting town. Uh, this little fishing shack over here. I believe you get the super rod from the guy in this little fishing shack, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check this out. Uh, I just so happen to have a spare rod. Sure, yeah, look at that super rod right there. So it's, it's a must-do. It's like, I know it's, it's a lot of trainer battles, and if you don't have any repels, there's a lot of running into Pokemon and stuff like that. But it's, yeah... Okay, that's cool. Uh, I probably won't be beating your record. So yeah, I know it's it's like it's like kind of useless, but in a way it's very useful as well. And over here is routes once is route 16. I bl I don't know where that connects to, but let's go explore this little town over here. It's, it's it's pretty much like a little fishing place town thingy. I probably shouldn't be leading with Pupitar with all these Pokemon, so I'm gonna go with Georgie. Um, and take the item off from Pupitar, because I completely forgot that there's gonna be a whole bunch of water type open around here. And I don't want Pupitar to die, because I really want Pupitar to be a uh, Tyranitar by the end of this episode, which probably will happen with all these battles we've still have to do. There's still a lot of battles to take on. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything useful. Over here, I'm not too sure about that. Let's go take you on though. Whoa, that's some good sets of Jean Paul. My fishing line looks like you're a tough punch. I have no clue why when I said bunch it came out as punch. I don't know why that why I did set, why it came out like that. So I'm sorry about that. Um, any hidden items over here? Oh, there's a poke ball over here, which is a dive ball. That's cool. I don't even need to do that competition to get dive balls. So right there, you get yourself the dive ball. And over here, oh, there is a hidden item that way. Right there, which is right beside this guy's repel. I don't know why there's a random repel beside this guy, but okay. That's where the hidden item is. Let's go battle you. Oh no, we've already battled you. What? Alrighty, or we haven't. I don't really, really recall. There's too many trainers over here to keep track of. I've already taken you on, because uh, that's where I fucked up on saying bunch. I don't know why. Um, you. Oh, we've not battled you. You can't make friends with the Pokemon under the water unless you take a cake up fishing. With all those trainers being battled, I'm gonna go ahead and see where this gate over here leads to, actually, because I completely forgot. I think it this leads back to Lumio City, 
or it leads to a new route. I'm not too sure. That's why we're checking this out, actually. I think this leads to Lumio City, though. Yeah. Okay, so we don't really need to go to Lumio... Actually, we, we probably should go to Lumio City right now to go do all those... Uh, stuff that... With, but yeah, we should go to Lumio City right now to do the, um... The dancers. Um, with that being said, you have to find a certain amount of dancers in Lumio City in order to take on the Lost... In order to take on the Lost Hotel fully. So, that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, just give me one second, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon up, and then we'll, uh, actually just go over here. Um, where is the, is there a Pokemon Center down here? Um, I don't see any Pokemon Center, but let's go to this guy. Yes, um, services Pokemon Center? Another place. Uh, facilities... Go to prison tower, yeah. Because I know there's a Pokemon Center near there. And then we'll go take on, uh, get all the uh, people that we need to take on. Look, fucking three grand? Are you serious, mate? <sighs> so expensive in the Mew City. Alrighty, I'm not really sure why I called them dancers. Uh, I always thought, I, well, I guess it's the same thing. But pretty much, uh... In order to take on the Lost Hotel to its full potential, you're gonna have to go learn a few uh, skating tricks. You're gonna need to learn the backflip, the running start, the parallel swizzle, the 360, and then the last trick you can learn is the cosmic flip, which is at the Lost Hotel. I'm gonna be showing you how to get all these skater tricks. Um, they're they're actually really, they're pretty hard to like keep up, like to find these guys. So there's gonna be a lot of editing done here just to like get to them really fast. But pretty much. The cab drivers are gonna be your best friend um, in this case, so let's you're gonna have to spend a lot of money at this also. I mean you could do you could do it yourself, but the first area I wanna go to is the North Boulevard. Oh my can we even get to the No, okay, well you're gonna have to go to the North Boulevard, so let's go there. So the first area you wanna go to is over here in this building over here. Um, I don't think it matters in which uh, like which like I don't think it matters in which like way you do it um, and in which order you do it. That's what I'm trying to say here But there she is you go talk to her and she'll get teach you the parallel swizzle uh, Parallel is a very cool technique which you use in your body left and right So yeah, we I guess we already talked to her so that's where the parallel swizzle is the next one we're probably gonna do go do is the um the, uh, the 360, which is Lumio City at the Estevel venue, so we- that- I believe we can actually take a cab to that guy, so let's go talk to the cab driver. Oh, there's one right here, not bad. Nice and, uh, efficient and convenient. Uh, I think that would be services. So it doesn't even, like, why the fuck am I- I'm so stupid. You literally just go down here. So there's the cab we were talking to earlier. He on down here, and here's the Estevel venue, um, and I believe it's this building over here. That's yeah, over there. So you go talk to her, and she'll teach you the 360. You, you, how could this be? Your trick technique is off the charts. Now you are a trick master. You're a level where it's not overstating it to say you're the concept of tricks pers personified. And she learns you the roller skater trick, the 360. It's called figure you can turn a full circle, use small ledges, and you can do. A Midair pirouette. All they do is jump over the ledge while rotating the circle pad in either direction. I'm sure scary like you can do it. So yeah, there we go. We got our we got two of them. Now we gotta go to the Vert Plaza. And I think we've already gone there, if I'm not mistaken. But we have to go there and then we'll get to that trick down, which is the running start trick. I don't really know what that does, but uh, yeah. So here's the Vert Plaza, and this guy right over here, I think we've already talked to him actually. Uh, he gives you the, yeah, the running stars. So we've already talked to him. And the last one we need to get is the backflip, which is the, at the North Boulevard. So I'll show you guys there once we get to the North Boulevard. So here's the North Boulevard. I believe we have to go down this way. And she'll be waiting for you at a tree. Yeah, right there. There she is. She'll be waiting for you at the tree right here. And she teaches you the backflip. I think we've already talked to her, actually. Oh, no, we haven't. So yeah, we, we learned two tricks out of that because we've... We've pretty much talked to everyone there is to talk to. And with that being said, you can now actually go to the Lost Hotel 
and uh, do everything there is to do with the Lost Hotel. So that's what we're going to go do. So here's the Lost Hotel. There's two parts of it. We already saw the, the second part on Route 16, and here's the one for Route 15. Um, the Lost Hotel, I need to go over a few things once we actually go take it on. Oh, 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 did you hear the voice too? That's why you're here, right? Oh. So yeah, uh, you can take on the Lost Hotel without doing any of the things we did in Lumio, in Lumio City. However, then you won't be able to take on, there's a boss in here. And you won't be able to take him on, and he actually teaches you a very, very cool trick. Also, already, I guess we'll talk about that later. I ain't holding back just cause you're a kid, you little punk! Like I was saying, in these little ca trash cans over here, they do shake occasionally, but on Tuesdays, there's a very, very slim chance of you actually being able to obtain a Rotom form. You're actually able to obtain both, you actually obtain all the Rotom forms, but it's a very, very rare chance. Uh, I think it's like a 1% chance of you encountering that, but uh, if you are these trash cans, you're actually able to obtain Pokemon in that as well, and some items as well. So, yeah, I do recommend you coming here a lot on Tuesdays. Back to the bone without a care in the world, that's us, alright? Rebel against everything, that's us, alright? Down with the man, man. So are you guys as bad as you thought you were? Cause it doesn't look like it. Um, over here. See, look at that. There, this thing's shaking. And what do you get? I don't really know. Cause it's not Tuesday, so I don't really need to like check this trash. Oh yeah, you can get some Trubbish, and I believe it's like. So I think you can get Snorlax, maybe, or am I thinking of a different area? Th yeah, that's definitely a different area. But yeah, you get some pretty cool Pokemon from these things, and it's really cool how they actually, um, how you're actually able to get Rotom forms. Even though it's like a really, really slim chance of you getting that, it's I think that's still pretty cool how they incorporate that into the game. Let's go get a hyper potion on Pupitar over here because he's very close to leveling up. I'm pretty sure his next battle we're gonna face, he's gonna level up if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you don't even be what are you even battling? What do you gotta say? Oh, well if you're gonna fall in love with me, well then, this kid, dude, kid, what's up with your crazy style? It's like out of this world, awesome! I'm begging you, kid, please, won't you meet with the boss? Yo, boss! Go on with you. But don't say nothing rude, he's the boss, you know. So yeah, if you actually don't, um, if you actually haven't gotten all these skater tricks, he's not gonna allow you in. He's just gonna say something like, Oh, your style is, is incredibly awful, whatever. He, something, he says something like that. You've done well to come to me, I'm the boss here. Call me boss. Forget names, it's the only word that you could be probably used to describe me. And who are you, young one? Ah, uh, Jake, it's a good name. I've been waiting many years. I've sought I've sought an individual who was born into this world with her great purpose of beautiful skating. It seems the moment I've been waiting for has finally come. You're the one. You'll be able to use this move far better than I have ever been able to. And that's how you get the cosmic flip trick. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool trick. Um, I don't... Do you battle us? No, you don't. I don't think he has anything else to say. And there's no hidden item around here. So anything... Yeah, there's nothing in the trash can. Yeah, so then, over here that you actually get access to a different area which you weren't able to access if you weren't able to get all those skater trick moves. Uh, which over here I believe is a, a, a TM, which is TM95 Snarl, it isn't that good of a TM, but you're still, you're still able to access it. Um, otherwise you won't be able to get it. I don't really know why they like, why that TM's there anyway. Um... This door, I don't really think you can unlock this door.
over here, this way is a different area to the Lost Hotel. We just went through the one that we wanted to go to. This lady over here, yeah, you do battle us. Come on, darling, bring out your Pokemon. My Seviper and Arbuck are itching to play. The time we've all been waiting for has finally come. Pupitar is evolving. Holy crap. I'm actually like, we've waited so long for this. We've literally waited two years for this moment to happen. And here we have it. Or, yeah, because last time I ever recorded this series, before I started recording now, was 2014. There we go. Our powerful Tyranitar. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. So, so beautiful and powerful, man. And here, here we go. <gasps> Zeppelin's evolving into Drifblem. We, we haven't waited that long for that, actually. We caught this is Drifblem in this episode, and it's already evolving. But I'm really excited about that, though. Here we go. We got a powerful, powerful Drifblem in our hands in just a few seconds here. And there you go. Look at that Drifblem. Oh, it's so good to use this thing. Well, I won't be able to use it for a long as time, like I'm actually thinking about training it off screen at one point or another, because it's not getting that, I thought it'd be getting a lot more levels than it is right now, but it's not, so that's kind of sad. Over here is a smoke ball, which is lots of smoke coming out of it, I guess, and nothing else. The other part is the second part of the Lost Tower, or not, I keep calling Lost Tower the Lost Hotel. Welcome to the second part of the Lost Hotel, we were just over there, now we're here. Um, in this air, in this area of the Lost Hotel, I don't really think there's that much important stuff to get over here. I believe there's a TM that we can pick up. Why? Why? Oh, what do you got? You're trying to get a, you're trying to get in the way of my having a little bit of fun, aren't you? I ain't gonna let that happen. I don't know why this, wait, is there something behind this wall or is it just like the other wall which is just fake and then there's no reason for you to smash it. Oh no, there is something back here which is a dread plate which powers up ghost type moves if I'm not mistaken. And as always if you have an Arceus that will allow you to get Arceus, um, is it Arceus ghost? Yes, it's Arceus ghost because it powers up ghost type Pokemon's moves. Um, back here anything important? No, it's just another dead end. Over here there's, well this is a little, this is pretty interesting actually. Um, I think, yeah, I believe if you, I think there's a TM back here, I think it's like flamethrower or something, if I'm not mistaken, or I'm thinking of a different area. But right there you get a protector which evolves a uh, Rhydon into Rhyperior, as we all know. Oh, how I'd love to get that protector in Omega Ruby. Uh, as of right now, I have a Rhydon in that series, and I really wanted to get to, to a Rhyperior. That's kind of a spoiler alert right there, by the way. Not really, I'm pretty sure by the time this gets uploaded, the Omega Ruby Wonderlock is done. But who no really knows, if it is a spoiler, I'm sorry. Um, I doubt this will be uploaded before uh, Omega Ruby is done. Both my mom and my old man are veterans, my big bro and ace trainer. What does that make you, a, a, a fuck up? By the way, before everyone gets mad at me for saying, why'd you call that girl a fuck up? I said that because, well, there isn't really anything you can do about, like, her brother is an ace trainer. Her, just whatever, is a veteran. So what, like, you can't really be better than a veteran or an ace. I guess I'll forgive you, even though I don't really know what you did. I don't think you did anything either. <laughs> um, so we came from this way. There's nothing over here. Well, let's go about that last train. I don't think there's anything important for us to do here anyway. What do you got to say for yourself? Oh, hey, she gives you TM56 fling. <coughs> Sorry, I kind of cough right there. 
Uh, but yeah, with that being said, that is pretty much everything there is to do in this little lost hotel. I guess, I guess not little since there's like, there's a lot of parts to it. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything there is to do in the lost hotel. Uh, so now let's go on to the next area. And I think we've are, I think we've completed Route 16 as well. Pretty sure we're down there. If I did miss anything on Route 16, please let me With know. With that being said, we're gonna move on to the next area, which is well, this place over here is like I know Lavier City. Lavier City is by far one of my favorite cities in this game, but so is the city right here. Uh, just because I love snowy areas in any in any Pokemon game that has a snowy area, I love it. Um, I don't know why, I guess this because it kind of reminds me of how dumb I was when I first played Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald. Or just Pokemon Ruby in general. That is a story for another day though. This is the end of today's episode, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, peace out and see you guys in and hope you guys have a wonderful day. Went ahead and went east to Route 15. And, uh, well, as you saw in the beginning of this episode, well, we also got a new Pokemon in today's episode. Which is our Z is Drifloon. Which is Drifloon. And his name's Zeppelin. Um, yeah, I, that's the only thing that popped to my mind when I heard of uh, the Drifloon. Anyway, in today's episode, we're gonna take on the rest of Route 15. We're gonna go ahead and go to the Lost Hotel as well. And, well, unfortunately, um, I was trying to do a smart edit right there and go to the uh, place where I stopped recording last episode because I did go I did go back and catch Drifloon. However, instead of doing a smart edit, we encounter this trainer over here. Anyways, always thank you so much for watching, and it really means a lot to me. And be sure to show that like button some love. That's just lonely. And if you show it some love, it'll certainly show you some love back. Anyway, let's jump into this battle, I guess. as you know. Man oh man, Moonblast is just such an awesome move. So over here is another area you can go to. It's a, like I said, this is a very very big route. We'll go there in just a few minutes here. I just want to go over here, and that's nothing over there, nothing really important. I bet you it's over here, yeah, it's in this little... Right, there's a big mushroom, because if you want the mushrooms, you gotta look for them in these little piles of leaves. Uh, there's a pile of leaves over here. Oh, it's a trainer, what? Yes, that's right, I'm the red Pokemon range. Buddy, I'm pretty sure all your buddies that are rangers have the red suit on, so I think everyone's a red ranger. Let's go to my is Bukini, and today I'm bringing the episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. In the last episode, we took on the Pokeball Factory, we kicked all those Team Magma's grunts, asses, as well with the admins and, well, the other two that we battled. And then we have strength on this boulder, and, well, there's another area over here to the Lost Hotel. The Lost Hotel is pretty big, actually. Um, I don't really get why it's split into sections like this, but, yeah. Um... Uh, I'm gonna go over here, because there is a whole bunch of trainers battle over here as well. Like, this is actually a very, very big area. Yeah, so this is quite a big area. Drift and gas, spin! Then boom, we're right into battle!
So yeah, if you do complete this route 100%, it's actually a very, very big route. There's a lot of stuff to do here. A lot of items to acquire as well. And, well, it, it's it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Um, I'm not gonna take you on, because I don't really have a... F actually, I have Aerodactyl I could use for you, but I don't really want to do that. Because Aerodactyl isn't really on my team. Don't you underestimate us! We're about as strong as a... So yeah, I was actually thinking about getting myself a Pidgeot, um, or a Pidgeot, or whatever you want to call it, a Pidgey, that thing right there, the thing that you can find in, uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, but then I, then I was like, hey, I've never, when, I, when we saw that Drift Bloom, I was like, hey, I've never ever actually used a Drift Bloom, haven't used it on Wi-Fi Battle Teams, I have not even used it in any game I've played, I don't, I don't, don't think so, uh, so I was like, why not, why not, why not use a Drift Bloom, and this thing is such a unique moveset, Drift Loon Killer and Thunderbolt. Like what? So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this thing just because I've never used it and I, I feel like it would be an, er an interesting Pokemon to use. Um as I've never used it and it has such a unique move pool that it's like why why pass up this opportunity to use a Drift Loon? And uh, well I needed somebody that can learn fly. So right over here is the Lost Hotel. You don't have to take on the Lost Hotel, you can either go on over there, which is well, that leads to the next city. Or, well, you can go over here, which is Route 16, use 